We got a full game box score. Um, I would just before questions, just take a second to give a lot of credit, a lot of respect uh, to the Boston players, uh, the coaching staff, Coach Udoka, phenomenal job. Um, ton of respect for them. And, uh, you know, wish them the best going forward. They were the better team, seven game series. Um, you know, a lot of respect, a lot of credit to Boston. Uh, Grant Williams takes 18 threes tonight. Uh, I'm curious, can you just take me inside like the calculus of deciding to, you know, keep the paint defense strong and, and give up some threes to him? Um, I mean, it is what you just described. I mean, the question is the answer, you know, so it's like, you know, I think Tatum and uh, Tatum and Brown have been, you know, very effective in the series and, uh, you know, felt like trying to, um, reduce theirs um, as much as we could give chance to uh, give Brooke a opportunity to have a huge impact on the game. Um, and so, uh, you know, credit Williams made enough. Um, and I think defensively, you know, I mean, the game was over with probably three or four minutes to go. And I think, I think they're on pace for a hundred or so, you know, at the end of the day, um, while it can always be better, um, you know, I think the the overall defense and effort uh, by our guys, including Brooke, uh, everybody, is to be commended. Um, you know, we gotta we their defense is to be commended. We gotta score. We gotta be better on offense. Uh, speaking of the offense, uh, I know you're not one for excuses, but just how much did it feel like you missed Chris in this series? Yeah, um, you know, I, I just uh, every every team goes through something. Um, Nobody feels sorry for us. Uh, you know, it's an age old, you know, equation. It's like the calculus of calculus of the NBA is you got to have good players. You got to be a little bit lucky and you got to be healthy. You need all three of those things to win and advance in the playoffs. I've heard it a million times. I've learned it over and over again. And um, we weren't as healthy as we'd like to be, uh, but nobody cares. Uh, just for you, the competitiveness of your guys throughout the seven game series, uh, they could have made excuses. They could have done those things, but it felt like, I mean, even until the very final second, you guys played hard. Yeah. I mean, I, I couldn't agree with you more. I uh, couldn't be more proud of the team and the like, competitiveness and the character and the toughness. And um, it's a great group. You know, um, we've been through a lot together, a lot of basketball. Um, you know, we've had success and, and now tonight, you know, we hit a wall or we met, we met our end and uh, it hurts and it's hard. Uh, but my respect and love for the team isn't any different right now than it is at any other time. Um, you know, Giannis isn't probably going to say that he felt tired or anything like that, but when he's missing layups or doesn't finish strong with the dunk, is that, how, how tough is that in, in the moment as you're watching that where it's kind of – those are baskets you kind of count on and they're just not going in and they're able to kind of go back the other way? Yeah. No, I mean, um, you know, we, we, we definitely, you know, played those guys out for as long and as much as we could. And, um, you know, maybe that had some small impact on it. And um, some nights the ball, you just can't get it in the basket. And, uh you know, whether it was, you know, just there was there was enough, um, you know, just I mean, and, and Boston was phenomenal. So but it would have been great if we, you know, make a few more, you know, whether it be layups or open threes and things like that, or, you know, some shots that are in and out. Uh, but that's the sport. That's the playoffs. That's the game. Um, we got to make more of those and um, execute better. Um, touch on this a little bit but you guys were four for 33 on threes did you like the looks that you were generating and and like you said did, was that fatigue setting in in the second half um you know it would be great not to get this question again I, I I'm sure we got some good ones and I'm sure we got some bad ones or some contested and tough ones and it's never all of one and it's never all of the other and um I I, I you know I, I think the question with Giannis and Drew is fair and, and, but, you know, maybe the whole group, I, I you got to play. I mean, they, 
they have the same amount of rest we did. They have, you know, it's just the same schedule, same trigger. Um, you know, fatigue is, is part of sport and, uh, we just, we weren't good enough. And, um, you know, were there, I, I don't know what the reasons why, but it's, it's just unfair to probably speculate or, or do anything like that. We just didn't get it done. But I know we talked after game two or so just about how well they were defending Giannis and different defenders at him, the way the, that he responded and, and, you know, carried you guys and such through this series, just kind of, what can you say about, um, the, the series that he put together, uh, despite how good they were defending him this year? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I you know, I think despite losing tonight and despite, you know, this, the series being done, I think the way Giannis evolved throughout the series, the way Giannis played, um, against a very good defensive team against a lot of good individual defenders, uh, was like another one of those growth moments and growth like opportunities. And, um, I thought he was phenomenal. Um, you know, he's scoring his attacking, his playmaking, his unselfishness, uh, you know, there, there's always going to be one or two times where, um, you know, we could have been better. He could have been better, but I would say as the series progressed, um, I, I was beyond impressed with him and how he kind of um, figured out how to attack, how to score, how to play, make, how to do all those things. And we didn't get it done. And he, you know, he's, he's a big part of that. Um, but uh, I, I'm beyond impressed by how he progressed through the series. I remember at the start of the season, you joked that you still haven't figured out how to defend a title um, that, you know, you had some chances in San Antonio, you didn't do it. What do you think is makes it so difficult to, to do this two years in a row now that you're on the other end of it? Yeah. You know, I mean, I go back to, you know, one of the, the, the kind of core tenets that I mentioned early is, you know, you got to have great players. And I think we have that, you got to be a little bit lucky. And I don't know whether we had or didn't have luck and, you know, the health thing turned on us a little bit. So we didn't, have all three of those and um you know that's certainly part of defending um but it's 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 the league i mean boston deserves the credit tonight it's it's like i said um you've got to find a way to win uh no matter who's dressing no matter who's playing boston's a hell of a team uh, miami's a hell of a team it's going to be phenomenal basketball um i don't you know whatever happens in the west it's it's a good league. There's good teams. There's good players. Um, I think that's the biggest reason why it's hard to repeat. All right. Thank you, guys.